Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a topic related to interpolation. Here we will solve a first numerical based on Stirling central difference formula. The numerical is the day wise total solar radiation in megajoule per meter square day is collected in the month of May, which is required for some experimentation. Use the Stirling interpolation method to find solar radiation corresponding to 6th day that is here x will be equal to 6. If you see here we have a data like this x equal to 6 means what it will lie here in between 5 to 7. So instead of considering this 1 as a x0 we have to consider this as a x0, x1, x2. This will be x minus 1, this is your x minus 2. So this is y minus 2 y minus 1, y0, y1 and y2. What we have to find it out? Here we have to find it out let here x will be equal to 6 and we have to find it out corresponding solar radiation in megajoule per meter square a day. So we will prepare here a central difference table. So let me write it as central difference table. So already we have gone through how to prepare central difference table, then what is central difference operator, already we have gone through, I will directly here prepare a central difference table by putting all necessary values. So we will have x and y values, so let me write it as first is 1, then 3, then 5, then 7 and 9 and corresponding values are 14.59, 18.82, 26.0, then 29.35 and 26.88. So, let me first complete this del y. How to find it out this value? This will be equal to first va second value minus first value. So, we will get this as 4.23 which is what? 18.82 minus 14.55. How to find it out this value here? It will be 26 minus 18.82. So it will be 7.18. Next value is 29.35 minus 26. So it will be 3.35. Next is 26 minus 29.35. So it will be minus 2.47. Next will be del square y. So how to find it out? So it will be what? 7.18 minus 4.23. So it comes out to be 2.95. Next is 3.35 minus 7.18. It will be minus 3.83. And minus 2.47 minus 3.35. We will get this as minus 5.82. Third is nothing but, next column is nothing but del cube of y. So it will be what? Minus 3.83 minus 2.95. So it will be minus 6.78, minus 5.82 minus of minus 3.83. So you will get it as minus 1.99. And last value will be del raise to 4y. So you will get minus 1.99 minus of minus 6.78. So you will get this as 4.79. Now let me give some nomenclature so that you will be able to understand here. Now which one is x0? This will be your x0. This will be your x minus 1. So this value will be your y minus 1. This is your y0. So what is this value? As we are talking about central difference, so this value is nothing but del y of minus 1 by 2. This value is del y of plus 1 by 2. You please go through the previous questions you will be able to understand if you correlate the tables. This value will be del square y0. This value will be del cube of y mi minus 1 by 2. And this is del cube of y plus 1 by 2. And this is del raised to 4 of y0. So, while solving the numerical by Stirling interpolation, we will be taking these values. Which values? This is your y0 value. This is del y minus 1 by 2 and del y plus 1 by 2. 
this will be del square y0 then this will be del cube of y minus 1 by 2 del cube of y 1 by 2 and this will be your del raised to 4 y0 so we will be using this now let me write a formula for stirling interpolation uh, already we have seen what is the formula it will be y equal to y0 plus u into bracket del y of minus 1 by 2 plus del y of plus 1 by 2 whole divided by 2 plus u square upon 2 factorial into bracket del square of y0 plus u into bracket u square minus 1 upon 3 factorial here we will get del cube of y minus 1 by 2 plus del cube of y plus 1 by 2 whole divided by 2 and the last term will be u into sorry u square into u square minus 1 upon 4 factorial del raised to 4 y0 you please go through the previous video i am telling you again because then only you will be able to understand where this u will be equal to what x minus x0 upon h x means what here we have to find it out for uh, the day 6 what will be the total solar radiation so x will be 6 if you see what is your x0 x0 will be here 5 and h will be what h is nothing but x1 minus x0 so if you do it 7 minus 5 you will get this answer as a 2 so let me substitute here 6 minus 5 divided by 2 so it will be 0.5 so substitute all the values it will be 26 Plus 0.5 into bracket 7.18 plus 3.35 divided by 2 plus 0.5 is a square upon 2 into minus 3.83 plus 0.5 into bracket 0.5 square minus 1 divided by Uh, 6 it is not plus sorry here it will be what here it will be this term okay let me check it let me check it this uh, 0.5 uh, okay it will be plus yes it is correct 0.5 into 0.5 square minus 1 upon 6 into into so let me write it here let me reduce the size so that i can write it as here minus 6.78 minus 1.99 Divided by two plus we have formula u square into bracket u square minus one so point five square into bracket point five square minus one divided by four factorial is twenty four into four point seventy nine so if you solve it step by step you will get answer as twenty six as it is. If you solve, you will get 2.6325 minus 0.47875, then plus 0.2740625 minus 0.0374218875. So if you solve it, you will get an answer of y of six because we are talking about at a six day. What is your total irradiation? So it will be 28.3904 in megajoule per meter square day. So what is this? This will be a solar irradiation in megajoule per meter square day corresponding to six day. It will be 28.3904. So this is what is. the first problem of stirling central difference formula thank you for watching this video